Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Larry, the tech guy. And today we're going to be going over some tech salaries, checking out some vids and reacting to them and seeing what's going on. And I'll give you my insight and uh, let you know what I think about what's going on in the tech world. So I'm just going to pull up some videos. We'll get right into it. If you're thinking about getting into tech, these videos should help you gain a little more knowledge about what's going on in this industry and what you can expect and uh, some of the things that you'll see on this side of tech. So let's get into it. Software sales. How much do you make? About 250K a year. Do you feel fairly compensated? Yeah, I would say so. Base salary and commission, but you eat what you kill. How long have you been doing it? This will be coming up on my fourth year now. Did you get a degree in sales? Like, how'd you break into it? So I went to Syracuse, did a poli sci and economics, but just became an SDRA out of college. Okay, let's pause this for a second. This dude said that he's getting 250K in software sales. This is in the tech sales field. I wonder what he's doing. He's probably most likely an account executive, but he may be an SDR too. Most likely not. I've seen 200K SDRs, but look at that money, 250K. Now, whatever career path trajectory that you have, it doesn't look like this. I mean, it doesn't look like this. I mean, over the weekend, I was back in Chicago, right? I stay in Atlanta now. Uh, and I know a guy, you know, he's been struggling, you know, with his job situation. He's about my age in his 30s. And uh, he said that he was going, going to uh, be a phlebotomist soon. And he was, help, you know, hoping that that would solve his issues. And I understand, you know, everybody has to do what uh, makes sense to them and what they feel like uh is going to help propel their life forward but you know i looked up the average salary of a phlebotomist and it wasn't like it wasn't like this it, it wasn't like uh like software sales you're not getting to it don't matter what year you're in you're not getting to 250k it doesn't matter what, how many years you've been a phlebotomist. What's the next step after that? And that's what I like about tech sales. There's so many things that you could do after you break in as an SDR. So, uh, yeah, let's 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 get into it some more. Entry level sales role and worked my way up the ladder. What are the pros and cons? Pros and cons: great work life balance. You know, it's really just an instinctual job in terms of if you know the right target and ICP in terms of who you want to go after, then it's a good market. But uncapped commission, easy work life balance again. So yeah. I love it. Work from home. He said uncapped commissions, easy work life balance, and it it does have a good you know work life balance. Uh, when you're in tech, uh, you get to make your own schedule and uh the flexibility to work from home you can go travel to new locations and like he said icp ideal uh, customer profile so the main people that are ideal to uh work with your company and to uh most likely benefit from the product that you have because that's what software sales is about you're selling a software to other businesses this is business to business marketing uh selling instead of a business to consumer. So Amazon sells to consumers. Sometimes it sells to businesses with Amazon's uh, workspace. And uh, so they have both of those businesses, but as most people know it, Amazon is a business to consumer or Walmart is a business to consumer, you know? So they sell to people. We sell to businesses and tech sales. If you don't know, I'm an SDR sales development representative and I'm on my way to getting uh, salaries just like these. Are you? Okay, let's go back. Every day. What are some of the cons? I don't think I have any. Yeah. What advice Ooh. would you share with new grads no or what con. you learned in general? New grads, if you're looking to get into sales, become an SDR right out of college. Mm -hmm. First entry level sales role, work your way up. Yeah. So, like I was saying, uh, the good thing is, you know, he went to college, but I didn't have to go to college. You know, uh, I was looking at somebody, I know somebody uh, that I did go to college with. Uh, you know, I dropped out of college a long time ago to do music. If you know my story, if you listen to, you know, the first video on this uh, on this page, you know, I came from the music industry after I dropped out of college. And I know somebody who graduated from the same college and they've been working SDRs uh, roles the whole time. 
and uh, I make a little bit more than him now, you know, and we're in the same field, you know, so we took different ways to get to the same place, but, you know, you got to, you got to, you know, uh, you don't have to go through a traditional role. You don't have to, uh, a traditional way to get to the same destination. So the good thing about sales, uh, tech sales and uh, tech in general is that you don't need a degree. You can go through these tech boot camps. You can, uh, you can go through these tech boot camps and get the qualifications and the credentials and the know-how in order to uh, succeed in this industry and people will respect these credentials as well as long as you uh, do them with the right companies uh, if you want to see the right company to do it with you can go through the same one I went through which is course careers is going to be linked in the description uh, and it should be the first pin comment as well let's uh let's get into the next video and see uh, what we got going on here um, let's see I want to go to another video this is one that I personally like a whole lot. Tech sales at the biggest tech company in the world. And about how much money do you make per year doing this? 250 to 300K a year. Is that total comp? <laughs> Completely total comp, equity, um, and commissions. Okay. And how many years experience do you have in your business? Eight years and five years in tech sales specifically. Okay. And what type of educational background do you have? Tell us. I went to the Florida State University, go knows, um, and I have a degree in information communication technology. Okay. And what's one of the biggest challenges you face in your industry in trying to become successful? Tell us. Just being young in the space um, and just an African-American woman, it definitely comes with its challenges, but it's... Okay, let's stop her real quick. She said 200, 300K. She went to school for uh, IT, information, uh, communication, technology, I'm pretty sure. Uh, this is Kayla Burke. She's a well-known uh, person in the tech sales space. Uh, she works at Microsoft as an enterprise uh, sales rep, and she is bringing in bank. Uh, if you you know look up her name and everything, she's doing a lot of big things right now. Uh, she's a black woman in tech, and she's clearing two hundred to three hundred thousand a year. So let's just you know say with taxes and everything, let's say you're getting about you know, 200,000 give you about 18,000 per uh, month. Let's say, you know, they're taking 20% of that. You're getting 13, $14,000 per month after taxes. That's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. You know, and with these roles, you know, that's including commission. So, uh, so with like account executive and these enterprise sales reps, uh, you can do, they might give you 150 base, like 150,000 base, and then you make another 50,000 in commission or another 100,000 in commission. You're able to make that. And when you're one of these top reps, you know, you can get paid in that type of way. So uh, this is uh, something that is uh, very doable. I see a lot of people succeeding. A lot of people from uh, course careers are doing stuff like this. Uh, let's hear a little bit more. Oh, what we'll hear again. In enterprise tech sales at the biggest tech company in the world. And about how much money do you make per year doing this? 250 to 300K a year. Is that total comp? Completely total comp, equity, um, and commissions. Okay. And how many years experience do you have in your business? Eight and years and five years in tech sales. Did you hear what she said? She said equity and commissions. That's total comp, equity and commissions. So that's crazy to break down. So she's getting equity. In the company, not some rinky ding company, not some startup. She's getting equity in Microsoft. Microsoft, I think, last time I was looking at it, Microsoft was up like 150% this year, which is crazy. So you put in, uh, if something goes up 150%, that means it, it goes up double plus another 50%. So if you put in 100 and 50, uh, well, you put in $100,000, you should come out with $250,000. Uh, uh, if you put in $100,000 at the beginning of the year, by the time it, get, it gets to 150%, you'll be getting uh, $250,000 back to you. So your money would have flipped uh, double and a half. That's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. So no matter if she's just getting, you know, on top of the 150 and all that stuff, she's getting maybe 10,000 
and in, in stock and in equity she shares that stuff is going to add up over time and she's going to be actually getting more money than she had she just accepted that in in cash so the equity in microsoft is worth more than than uh than just money because money depreciates you know so you want to put your money into something that's uh appreciating that's gaining value with the fact that with her job she's already doing that that's crazy Mexico specifically and what type of educational background do you have tell us i went to the florida state university go knows um and i have a degree in information communication technology okay. and what's one of the biggest challenges you face in your industry and in trying to become successful tell us just being young in the space um, and just an African-American woman, it definitely comes with its challenges, but it's really rewarding to say the least. Okay, and the last question, any advice you want to give to someone that's young right now? Yep. If you don't believe in yourself, nobody else will, so go for it. An enterprise. Cool. So if you don't believe in yourself, nobody else will. Uh, that's great advice. Uh, if you're thinking about getting into tech sales and you feel like this could be a monumental move for your life and a pivot that that you need in order to change uh, where your life is going and change the trajectory of your life then you need to join us you need to join us uh, at course career the link in the description these are real people uh doing real things making real money i'm a real person i'm making real money you know uh, right now i make about 55k uh base plus commission uh on target earnings that means that you know i hit all my quotas and everything i should make about uh seventy thousand you know and then i can go past that as well so um it's just a crazy industry and th these are entry level roles i've never been in this uh in this industry at all and this is the this is just the entry level you know so high paying i work from home uh i'm going to have a work trip this month we're going to boston uh, all expenses paid hotel flight so uh, flexible schedules. I, I make my own schedule, and um, it, it's just it's just a great you know uh, health insurance you know b benefits. I get free health insurance, so uh, it's just a whole lot of benefits that come with being with this company, and you know I'm grateful for it being in my life and uh, and the things that the opportunities that is presented for me. So if you want to join the winning team, you know uh, at Course Careers and see what you can do and uh believe in yourself you know click the link in the in the description uh it should be the first pin comment make sure you like comment and subscribe make sure that you uh you support the channel and you know you keep coming back for more because i'm going to be doing more reaction videos showing you more about what's going on in the world of tech and who's succeeding who's not the pros and cons and just how you can uh change your life in this so uh, once again, this is Larry, the tech guy. Uh, I'll holler at you soon. Peace.